Hi there, it's Jen from ModernMedicineLady.com and the Empathic Woman System, and the word of the day is legitimate. And there have been a couple things that have come up for me recently that have motivated me or pr prompted me to choose this word. But the bottom line about the word legitimate is that it's about our self-care when we are looking for support, when we are looking at money-making opportunities, when we are looking at programs that we're considering investing in, when we're considering working with a healer or a mentor or a coach or a teacher, any time, or even going to school, but any time we are thinking about investing in ourselves and in our future and looking at jumping into something, I think it's really important that we consider the legitimacy of that thing. And part of what's motivated me to record this word of the day was because I've gotten a couple inquiries from people just basically saying, are you legit? Are you the real deal? Do you have credentials? Do you have training? You know, can you back up what you're saying? And I'm extremely grateful when people ask me that question because I think it's a really important question. And it matters to me that the people that I work with who help me and serve me have credentials and have training and have expertise and have skills. And I would hope that it matters to the people who work with me that I have spent a lot of time and energy and effort and money investing in my training and in my skills so that I know what the hell I'm doing. And I, so I really see that question as not only something I welcome when people ask me, you know, do you, you know, are you legit? But also I just welcome any time I see people asking that question because the comment that a lot of times goes with that is I've seen so many people make claims and there are so many, you know, sort of fly by night operations on the internet and so many things that are just like, not really legitimate on the internet that it's really easy to it's just really easy to to you know get sucked in or to be and to be sort of dazzled by the illusion and knowing when something's real and legitimate versus when it's not real is an important thing to be taking into consideration so the other reason that I'm mentioning this is just because I had somebody I know get sucked into a money-making um, opportunity that turned out to be a scam and it was another situation where it wasn't legitimate and had they done more research they probably would have discovered pretty quickly it wasn't legitimate but on first glance it looked like the, it looked like a solid thing. And it really made me think about, in this day and age, how incredibly important it is for us to do our research, do our homework, do our dil due diligence, and check to be sure that something looks really legitimate. And do, you know, like spend some time Googling, look something up and see if you can get multiple sources or if the only thing you're finding about it is it's uh, is is just the website itself does it have a phone number has it been around you know how long has it been around and something you can also do is you can check this thing called the wayback machine on archive.org where you can look up a website and you can see a lot of websites not every single one but a lot of websites you can look them up and you can see the many iterations so you can actually see whether what somebody is saying is consistent over the years or if they keep changing their story or keep changing their information about what they're claiming they do or they haven't you know and their level of experience so that's something that I think is really it can be very very helpful is just doing a little bit of research doing some googling looking for testimonials being sure that that you know, looking to be sure that there is some way to contact somebody if you are going to be engaging and particularly if you're going to be giving somebody money and investing in something, but just finding ways to be sure that 
what you are considering getting help from, you are considering investing in, you are considering, you know, as a, a place to get a training from, any of these things, that it is legitimate and that you are going to get what it is that you're actually looking for. So my question for you right now is, do you check for, when you are considering jumping into something, how do you check for the legitimacy? Do you look, do you do research? And how do you go about doing that research? And what is it that it takes for you to feel like something is legitimate and to make you confident in jumping in with both feet?